Hi there and welcome to this brand new YouTube video and it's all about art journaling today. <laughs> I discovered art journaling only a year ago and I am very sorry that I haven't discovered it earlier but well it is like it is and I'm very happy that I uh, discovered it because I think it's the best thing to do as an artist. Um, I stumbled upon some Instagram posts of a uh, collaboration between Angela Smith and Claudia from Claudia's Art Barn and Claudia is um, we, we have a common friend, so I know Claudia and I didn't know Angela. We were friends on Instagram, but I asked Angela, do you want to do a collaboration? And Angela said, yes. So the idea of a collaboration is you both buy a book and we both uh, bought the book from Dinah Walkley. So it has different kinds of paper like this and I think it's amazing and it's called the Dinah Walkley uh, journal media journal and uh, she bought this one and I had a larger one and then you start with working on some random pages in your journal I worked in my book she worked in hers and at a given moment, I had, well, kind of 12 spreads um, randomly in the book uh, that I've been working on. And some were already finished and completed or half. And some had just some brush strokes and, well, that there was something to do for the other one. Uh, and then I, I, I asked her, shall I already send it? And she said, yes, yes, I am ready to. So then the first moment of exchange started and well it was amazing to work with the things that she made and i will of course talk about that in another video and uh, now i want to go back to my own art journal because when uh in the summer uh, there was a moment that uh, i had well i felt like I am done well with my book. I have done so many things. It was the second time that I had it. So it has been uh, once at my place, once at uh, Angela, and then again, it was at my home again in my studio. Uh, and I thought like, I'm unstoppable. <laughs> I want to continue, but I'm already, I'm already further than Angela. And Angela was working at the restaurant and was very busy. So I felt like, what do I need to do? And I found the answer. I just had to buy a new art journal for myself. So I went to my favorite art supply shop and well, the owner said, I have an amazing book for you. And it was the same as Angela uh, was using, the same size, but mine was blue. And there were some uh, jeans uh, fabrics in it and some uh, other cotton-like things. I will show it later on. And I was really amazed and I thought, well, I need to do that. And I start working in it uh, immediately and it was amazing. This book is now just finished. I finished it yesterday with the last project and uh, it was, it felt completely mine. And um, the theme of the book, uh, Angela and I were also thinking about a theme like nature. And um, well, for me, the challenge of that book was using more white spots. And in this book was a challenge using blue. And well, so it happened. And another theme that came up while I was working on this book was letting go because this was also the time that I had to move out of my studio. 
Now I'll be showing you uh, some pages out of the book. And um, I really love to show you how I am working on it. So on this page, I just uh, painted uh, my walk of that day. And we walked in the polder that was uh, that is close to our house. And uh, we saw these sheep and we saw these goods. And I already had collected some tape that I have painted and the hortensia leaves. And I found them amazing to use. Um, so I collected everything around this color of green and uh, I just painted this and I didn't have used any papers, which I sometimes do. For example, on this page, this is one of my favorite pages. Um, it's the Buddha without a head. Um, I uh, used some uh, paper that I already printed before. And here I've used uh, some book text. I used the leaf. I used also a Tibetan uh, wind flag, uh, which was already faded because it was in the garden for a couple of years. And I think this is also paper that's funny because I don't know exactly what I used. The story about this is that when there were, were people walking in the building where my uh, studio was, the old school, school building, um, I saw people in the hall and they were talking about um, taking this building for a school. So I knew they were the enemy and they wanted to take over the building. But, um, well, uh, when I closed my door, this Buddha fell on the ground and uh, his head fell off. And I will show you. This is his body. And this is the head. Off with his head. And, well, I tried to mend it, but, uh, well, it remained. This, it, didn't, it didn't work out because it fell off again a second time. But I thought it would be a sign. And this is also a lovely uh, thing of uh, synchronicity because we were watching um, an episode of Chef and then uh, a nun was talking about uh, creativity and I thought I need to write it down. Um, I think she was from Korea. And she didn't want to call herself a chef because she felt that was not her. She was more like a monk or a nun. And just, but she, she cooked lovely things with all ingredients from nature and in a very holistic way. And well, her way of life and her way of talking about creativity just touched me in a way that I wanted to capture it in this book next to the Buddha and the wind flag. This is my very favorite page. Um, it also shows how playful I was those days. And um, I was just working on painted uh, surfaces so I um, put this paper afterwards and only here are uh, pieces of paper that I use and this is fabric from an Indian I think patchwork um, yeah I don't know what it was anymore it's something patchwork I think a cushion or uh, a blanket I don't know but I thought it it really matched with the rest. Um, and I just started and I liked the way it became vertically. And I did a lot with small details. I worked a lot with pens here, but also with paint. Um, and yeah, I don't know why, but I, I really love the dark background. Um, 
and that it's coming back and here it's coming back reversed on a lighter background with darker things upon it and well these colors are still feeling very comfortable to me and I haven't used any blue in it. When I bought this book I knew for sure the first idea that I had uh, because of the book and also the name of the book Blue I, I was for sure that I had to do something with Joni Mitchell because she is by far my favorite artist I love her music and especially the album Blue and uh, so I also put the lyrics of the song next to it and I try to make a landscape that is well really uh, related to to the to the lyrics and yeah uh, this speaks for itself it, it's Joni Mitchell uh, from the cover the album cover of uh, Blue and this is another favorite one and um, I made it the day after Cat Day uh, which I uh, organize uh, with my cousin and her daughter Jada and my cousin's name is Kim and we uh, cat day is not on a particular date it's just when we want to have a cat day and then we do things like going to a cat museum uh, making some creative things uh, with the subject cats like this and that and or we go to a cat restaurant where the cats all uh, walking uh, between the tables and uh, this year we just did some drawing and um, well pasting uh, and, and, and well just small activities so maybe we will have another cat day this year it doesn't have to be once a year it can be as often as you want um, but I really love this page and I also uh, discovered that uh, Paddle uh, loves the uh, Dino Walkley art journals um, because she plays with all the with all the ropes coming out of it. <laughs> so I will show you that video as well. Sorry, Angela, it was your book. Oh, hey, <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> hey, Paddle. Hey. You're hearing your name? Another thing that I want to show you is how I integrate texts like Joni Mitchell, for example, but here I integrate a, a text from Etty Hillesum. I also used book pages, but it was um, about how this text was speaking to me. I ended this book with a text um, from Chitska Jonsa and she is a Dutch poet and I really love her work and uh, she said I'm not going away I'm going somewhere <laughs> <laughs>